Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. It is that time of year, got to put in the garden. And I actually skipped doing a garden last year and the ground is really hard right now. Um, not because it's cold, but it hasn't been tilled up in a couple years. So um, I have an audience. My uh, hens are over there watching, but I actually went and rented a big rototiller from Home Depot and I, I have 24 hours. So I have 24 hours to finish this and it's just about killing me for what you see that I did so far because the ground is so hard. But I gotta go, well the outline was there before. It's almost, you can see the post in the back. So a big rectangle. We're gonna give it our best shot. All right, so we got Charles Michelle who did some of the rototilling. What'd you think of it, Dad? It's pretty rough. Yeah. Is it rough? Hard. Yeah, well, I did it when I was younger, but I'm not younger, so <laughs> it's hard now. So, based on, upon what you, you saw, would you ever do a garden now? No. <laughs> no, I, now that I know I can buy tomatoes and cucumbers, I'm not putting in a garden. I got gotcha. you. You know, good for you. I'm glad you're doing it. Well, I appreciate that you did some of the... Uh, Michelle's got to always be in the background. My pleasure. She's got to do her dancing like uh, Waterboy. Yeah. So, anyway. My pleasure. Jason. But, well, I know. I appreciate it because this is some hard work. It's hard. Yeah, so. But you're like better than halfway done. Yeah, Since we're getting there. The post up, yeah, I did. I moved my post up. So. so, here's what my father here's what my father was talking about he, when I moved the post up. The post used to be like right here. And I moved them up about five feet. And I'm actually making like a little L because I realized that the tree is going to put a little too much uh, shade on the area. But all in all, for the first day, I think we did pretty good with the rototiller. We got a lot of it uh, torn up and we're going to have to uh, rake it out, make it smooth, put down the plastic. And then we'll put some plants in. Although I got to say, a lot of my plants did not do well once I brought them up from the basement and the light. I thought giving them natural light on the patio would be good, and it did not wind up being the case. The carrots are doing good, and the peppers and the cucumbers are doing good, but everything else is failing. So I might have to go get some plants. It is Saturday morning. Got a good start out here this morning to uh, do the tilling. Actually, it's going really good this morning um, you know I cut the size of the garden down a little bit and I think I'm gonna extend it back out because the I think I was just tired yesterday and, and it was really hard to till but today it's not a problem it's cool out uh, a little humid but I have a, a long sleeve shirt on sweating a little bit but not overheating yesterday I was overheating so this is actually working out pretty well I got Two passes done. Uh, I'm going to do about four or five if I can. Each one is easier and easier as you go. It's pass number one that is so difficult. But uh, we're going to give it a try of pushing that back. I think what I'm going to do is where the door is, I'll make a line straight to there. Because over on, on the side over here, it, it's quite a bit of shade. It's actually quite a bit of shade right here. And, not real happy with that but the sun does come up and it goes in the summertime over in that direction so it does have a tendency to get a little bit lighter over here the further you get in the summer like June and July all this right here by about nine o'clock ten o'clock in the morning will be sunlight and then you have sunlight until seven o'clock so I think it's gonna be okay but like I said I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to just do to the door and over but it was funny because my friend Joan one time had posted something regarding what's your favorite smells. And there was like a list of 10. And one of them was freshly tilled dirt. And Michelle and I both, that was in our top two or three, was the smell of fresh tilled dirt. So... I'm out here getting that smell right now and it's very enjoyable. I work in agriculture, agricultural chemicals, but um, I give a lot of credit to farmers, but they get that smell all day and lucky sons of guns. 
we are done tilling. Uh, I might go over one more pass, but for right now, I've gone over it four times, and it's looking pretty darn good. Of course, I still have to smooth it out and put all the uh, gardening cloth on and all the fencing, the plastic fencing, plant the plants. Oh my goodness, there's a lot to do. So, uh, the machine that I was using was a Honda FC 600, again, rented from the Home Depot. And that machine actually worked pretty good. So, uh, don't forget to pick up the front wheel when you're doing this. Uh, the front wheel makes all the difference in the world. You can use that front wheel when you are transporting it, you know, like rolling it from one area of the yard to the other, but do not leave it down while you're tilling or you're not going to do squat. And over on this side, I did till a little bit on this side because I have a couple of berry bushes, blackberries and blueberries, and this is full sun area right here, so I figured I would put them on the side. Not to mention the side of the coop looks kind of bad, like right in this area. Um, I don't know, it's kind of, there was no stud to nail it onto, so it's, it's kind of warping a little bit, and I mean, it's fine for a chicken coop, but uh, I figure if I put some berry bushes, it'll cover it up and the neighbors won't see. But uh, as you can see, I did wind up making a little bit more on this side. Um, originally, the line was here. This is where I originally had it, and now you can see it's moved out to here. And that gives me a little extra. I think on this side down here, I might try my melons because I was trying some cantaloupe and I think I had honeydew. So I'll put the melons down here. It's only going to be two plants each. And then that'll take care of the fruit. The, the melons over here, the berries over here, and then everything over on this side should be vegetables and don't give me that whole argument over tomatoes are a fruit that's great i'm still planting it with the vegetables <laughs> so after all the rototilling yesterday the ground obviously is uneven but that tilled soil goes down a good seven or eight inches which is nice it's pretty good only found like two bricks three rocks and the soil is in pretty good condition so I need to get it smoothed out now and it's going to be really a three-step process. First step is going to be just using a metal rake and getting it as, as smooth as I can that way. Number two is I'm going to take some hardware cloth between a couple of pieces of wood, throw a couple bricks on top to weigh it down and just use a string and kind of just drag it around until it's smooth. And then the third part is just going to be putting down the um, vegetation cloth or uh, whatever you call it. It's, it's not plastic, but it's a it's a breathable fabric that hopefully will prevent some weeds. And then all that's going to be left is planting, but I can tell you right now that will not get done today. Probably I'll be happy if I can get the raking done and run the uh, hardware cloth, because then i got to pick up Brittany from work. But to make it go quicker, we'll do time-lapse uh, time lapse photography. Well, I can't even talk today. It's just kind of pathetic. Today, by the way, is my birthday. So I'm doing this work on my birthday because it makes me feel good. I enjoy doing this. I Some people would rather sit in a hammock, although I wouldn't sit in a hammock today because it's actually drizzling. But um, to me, this is what makes me happy. Working in the garden, looking at my chickens in the coop. Can't think of a better way to spend my birthday. Thank you. 
This is probably the most unprofessional screen tool you'll ever see. So <clears throat> the object is it has just four pieces of wood and like a little cross bracing. It's just some hardware cloth, uh, half inch hardware cloth with some string just to kind of let me pull it along. And the object is, is to try to smooth this dirt out. I don't know how many passes it's going to take. All I did was like the rough go over with the rake. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. why people have machines chickens were watching had a little audience hey chickens they are very funny to watch where's my eggs no eggs yet it's probably gonna be another six weeks they're still they're only 10 weeks old but they were watching me and Again, it's not perfectly level, but I'm not a commercial farmer, <laughs> so, and once I put the uh, black coating over, uh, you're probably not going to see it at all. I think it's going to work just fine. I have the black landscape cloth, and I'm going to do my rows uh, on the short way, so row, row, row. Your boat gently did. Oh no, that's not what I was trying to say. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I'm gonna do short rows instead of long rows because one year I did a garden and I did it on the longest way. And even though I had them tacked down, it still wound up, I don't know, flying like a sail on the Santa Maria. So I am going to be putting it down and utilizing some little metal stakes to keep them hopefully into the ground. One down and a bunch to go. We have completed the landscape cloth all the way around. And Michelle has given me a big hand by taking all the uh, old grass that we raked out of there with the metal rake and getting rid of it, putting it elsewhere. Where are you putting it? Over there. <laughs> Just over there. over there. If you see, it's actually kind of up against the house because it's all just bare dirt there anyway, so it's really not going to hurt anything by being over there. So... I think Artie approves. Artie, is that good? It work? Yeah, so 
Next thing now is gonna be straighten up the fence posts, get the fence posts all in. Already is dejected because I made him wear the muzzle because he wouldn't stop barking, but I, I just took it off. He's being a good boy now, but he had it on for about 15 minutes. So I put in the sprinkler and I'm not real crazy about its distance. So I'm gonna get another little pony hose like in the middle and I'm gonna get another sprinkler and put three instead of two because it's not really reaching the fruit area and it's not covering completely the vegetable area. So I'm gonna get another sprinkler and another little hose. Now I'm starting to put up the fencing. Um, I have kind of short posts for this, but it's okay. I'm just trying to keep out rabbits and I'll probably cut off the top part. I probably could have gotten away with three foot hose instead of I don't know, I think that's four foot, or not hose, um, fencing. But it, it is what I have. I, I'll be honest, <laughs> is um, I think I, I stood the metal post next to the fencing and it looked like it matched, but I forgot that about a foot of the post goes underground. So, dumb me. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this up all the way around. And I think I have enough. I have three rolls and each roll is I think 25 feet. I don't know. I'm probably going to fall a little bit short, but if I get the majority of it up today, I'll be happy. So one of the things I always said when I made my initial video, the introductory video was sometimes you're not going to have that tool or that certain thing that you need. Sometimes you don't have the specific tools that are listed from the experts videos on home repair or any kind of technical thing. Well, because I got three foot uh, poles and four foot fencing, I'm just trying to make it work. And so I cut a little bit off. You can see it's not perfect, but it's just to keep, you know, rabbits and squirrels out. So um, I cut it, but I don't want to waste the pieces. So what I did was I came over and I took parts that I cut and I kind of spliced them together for this segment and I know I'm going to wind up cutting another so I'll put three on there and then I just kind of put it together with some zip ties so that nothing gets through. So I'll wind up on this little segment right here having three cut off pieces but that's okay because I'm just utilizing what I have just like I said in the introductory video. The fencing is done. Uh, leached into a second day of working on it and I think it turned out okay like I said I don't have all of the necessary parts or anything so if you look in some parts I, I patched together some um, I think it's patched together right here there's a little patching right here on the entry but notice I made the entry a little bit shorter than the rest of the fence so that, you know, Peter Cottontail can't get in there, but hopefully I can. Uh, Michelle was my test subject. She went over it. She's all a four foot 10. She'll lie and say four foot 11, but it's not it's four foot 10. As a matter of fact, now that she's older, I think it's even less than that, but we'll let her say that. And so I got fence all the way around. And if you look, I also put in my sprinklers. So I have three rotating elevated sprinklers and uh, a couple of pony hoses. Um, to, the only second small hose I had is like a RV water hose, but it's okay. It'll water the plants. If it can water humans, it can water a plant. <laughs> so, and um, down on the bottom to keep it from popping up, what I did was I put some of those um, little green stake pegs to keep it from popping up. I don't want anything digging underneath either. So we got the fence all the way around and the irrigation is in. So all that is left in the garden is planting. I said planting, not planning, because I'm not much of a planner. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna go get one of those programs for, <clears throat> you know, design your garden where it takes into consideration says, oh, well, you know, tomatoes take up three feet of space. <clears throat> so that counts as two garden spots. Uh, peppers take up one garden spot. 
cantaloupe takes up five garden spots all on like little blocks and everything I, i'm not going to do that i'm not real good with the uh geometry trigonometry whatever kind of ometry it is uh, math to figure that out you know people that are but that's not me so you know we'll get everything in there utilizing the best space i've watched enough youtube videos to you know figure out what goes where best to maximize the use of my space plus uh right on the packages of the seeds it says you know how much space it's eventually going to need going by that uh, i think i'll be okay but i think i counted i have like 20 different fruits and vegetables to put in here i'm hoping i have enough space it's a pretty big space but that's a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, on the side of the shed, I did uh, till over there. And that's where my berries are going to go. My raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries will all go over there. And again, all my fruit will be in that back little segment right there. It's hard when you're trying to look into the camera and go on an angle. It's like right there. And then the veggies in the front. I got done work and I decided to start putting all the plants into the garden and so far it's looking pretty good I, I got them pretty much where I want them but it's dinner time so I'm gonna have to call it a night what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the sprinkler get a little bit of water on these things because there's a lot that's drying out um, they sat for a couple days so I need to get some I need to get some um, water onto them but i'm gonna leave on the water for about an hour get them soaked up and then tomorrow when i get done work or maybe i'll take a lunch break i'll come out here and i'll start to put them into the ground the last part of the garden was to get the fruits in and we actually managed to get that so i put a little i don't know decorative fencing up on the front and then just in the back there's just metal on it's, it's almost like pipe cleaners without the uh, fuzzy stuff on them in the back. But it worked out okay, and I got a uh, blackberry, a uh, raspberry, a blueberry, and a couple strawberry plants in here. This concludes the building of the garden for the year 2021. It was a little more work than I thought it was going to be, but that's because I didn't do a garden last year, and all the gardens I have done previous were much smaller at a smaller elevated garden before. So prepping the, the ground took a lot more than I thought it was going to. Honestly, I've never done this many plants before. So it took a while to get them all in the ground, plus I did the fruit portion on the other side. But everything is done, so now it's just a matter of letting it go, hoping the sun comes out, some good irrigation, some good water, and hopefully a good harvest. I'll keep you updated through the summer as we go. Hopefully we get some good fruits and vegetables. But thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you can, like and subscribe, please. Have a great afternoon. See ya.